What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be covering a topic that I get asked about almost every single day and that is the topic of sponsors. How to get sponsored. Everybody wants a sponsor. <laughs> Sponsors could be very, very desirable because not only do you get to enjoy your favorite products or your favorite apparel every day for free or at a discount, but you get to also share it with everybody that you know and hopefully positively affect their lives and help change their lives through this sponsorship. So I'm going to go over my top five ways you can get noticed and get sponsored by the people that you want to work with. Number one, today we live in a digital world. Almost everything is advertised through social media now. Um, and if you are gonna get sponsored, that's gonna be the first place that they look is your social media. Who are you and how big of an influence do you have through your social media? Because that's gonna be how you promote their product. So the first point that I wanna make is that make sure that all of your social media platforms reflect what you want it to reflect and reflect what they want to put out as a company. So if you are, I don't know, going for a, just pulling this out of my, you know what, but if you're gonna try to get sponsored by a bikini company and your, um, your Instagram page is just of food, they're gonna be like, what? That doesn't make sense. You wanna make sure that your, your Instagram page is like you have pictures of you at the beach in a bikini or at the, the pool, you know, all bikinis, because they're gonna be like, okay, she's marketable for our um, area of, you know, product, whatever, you get what I'm saying. So make sure that your social media pages reflect what that company wants it to reflect and is like on the same page. Also make sure that you have as many social media platforms as you possibly can because the more people that you are reaching, the more valuable you are as a person that's being sponsored, as a... The more um, platforms that you have um, a handle on, the, the more marketable you are towards a company. There we go. Um, so that, I'm talking like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, be all across the board. Um, you can definitely have one be your strength and the one that you focus on the most, but the more you have, the better. Number two is I want to encourage you guys so much to go after the companies that you want to be sponsored by. If you just sit around on your ass waiting for the, the companies to stumble across your page and think, oh my gosh, they would be perfect for our page, that's going to take forever to happen. It might not even happen. So what I recommend for you to do is take a piece of paper, write down all of the companies that you would like to work with, that you would accept a sponsorship from, and just outline it all. Just be like one, two, three, four in priorities, okay? Then take this list and go back to your social media pages. Make sure that they all are in line with what you are putting out on your social media. Um, think about being in that company's shoes and what would you be looking for? Okay, my dogs are crazy. Stop it. What would you be looking for if you were a company looking for an athlete or someone to share their product? And make sure that you um, are an embodiment of that. Um, and it really helps to write stuff down. So like write your first company, write what you think that, that they are looking for, write their um, mission, you know, and kind of do some self-reflection and see which company works best with you. And oh my God, Simba, he's gonna knock my camera over. By the way, you guys, Simba broke my camera lens and so I have been using my phone for the past like two weeks because of this, this happening. <laughs> Outline it, bullet point everything. Writing it down is like the key to success. Once you have it all outlined and prioritized and you think that your pages are exactly what they're looking for, I would write them an email or find them on social media, outline a message that says, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. This, and just make it as short and concise as possible. So make it, cause you don't want them, they don't want to open an email and see a huge paragraph. They're not going to read it. Let me just tell you that right now. They're not going to read it. Bullet point, really clear and concise and to the point. Hi, my name is blank. These are my social media handles. Boom, 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 boom. This is the reasons why I would be good with, for working for your team. Bullet points. Um, this is, these are my goals and what I'm going to achieve. Don't be wishy-washy. Oh, I want to be this and blah, no. This is what I am going to achieve. This is what I have achieved. This is what I am achieving now. Be really confident and 
to the point, direct confidence is really going to come through and be stand, make yourself stand out to a company. Um, and say, you know, always end with something like, I absolutely love your products, I absolutely love your apparel, I love your bikinis, whatever it may be. I've been wearing them for X amount of years. You can see it on my social media. Make sure that you have pictures of yourself using your products because that's huge. They don't want to bring someone on if they're not sure if they even use their products. And that's something that you should like definitely look for in a company is do you really actually genuinely love their products or are you just loving the idea? Um, okay, and then once you have that bullet pointed out in your message, the very last thing you should say is, um, maybe you don't have a lot of followers, I'm just kind of guessing right now, but say, you know, I know that my, my social media following is somewhat small at the moment. I am, I am working on this daily to grow and improve. Um, I would love to hear a response back, but if I don't, I will check in with you guys in another month. Please keep me on your radar. You know, something like that that's like, hey, I know that I might not be what you're looking for at the moment, but keep me on your radar and I will check back in with you. So you don't even give them a, you know, a choice. You know, you're saying, I am going to check back in with you, put me on your radar. You know, being very confident and to the point like that is really gonna help. So maybe you don't hear back from them. In another month, follow back up and take that same message and say, since my last email, this is what I've accomplished, this is blah, 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 blah. Give them a short little update. Also include photos, and I'm not saying like a million photos. Include one photo, one image with a bunch of different photos in it so they can see what you look like just with one click, you know. Take your top four or five favorite photos of yourself or you know, the photos that most embody with them as a company and include it in that email. Um, you can also attach a resume, but I don't think that's really necessary, but I guess it depends on what you, um, what sponsorship you're going for. Oh yeah, also for number two, tag them in your photos. like. Be as um, noticeable as you can. Tag them, hashtag them, tag the people that are associated with them. You know, the more chance you have of appearing in their lives all the time, the more chance they'll be like, oh, it's this girl again. It's this guy again. You know, I better look into them. Um, be relevant is my point. I just went over number three. Oh wait, yeah, number three, um, don't give up. So you might send, you might be like all jazzed after you watch this movie, this movie, this video, and you might say, wow, Katie's so smart and I'm gonna go get sponsored now. And you do everything that I say and you still don't hear back from them. It's been four months and you sent them four emails and you haven't heard back. Just don't give up, be persistent. The more consistent and persistent you are, the higher chance you'll get of being on their team. And um, you know, you can always just, just like, send the same email to everybody that you know that's on their team. Like, do everything you can to get noticed by that company. Because a lot of times what happens is these companies get people coming to them every day saying the same thing, oh, I wanna be on your team, I wanna be sponsored by you. But how are you gonna be different? You're gonna be different by being persistent and like really showing them that you want this and that you are serious about it. I'm gonna go into a little bit of a story time now. When I was in high school, I worked for Victoria's Secret in Albuquerque, New Mexico for like two years and we had this method of hiring people because we would get a lot of applicants and we would always say, oh yeah, we're always um, accepting applications if you wanna turn one in. So we'd put all of the applications that we got in a nice little stack and that stack would sit there unlooked at until someone came in again and said, hey, I'm following up on my application. Once they said they made that follow-up thing, we would take their application out and actually review it because we were like, okay, this is the person that really wants the job. And we would say, oh no, we're gonna call you, we're gonna call you, don't call us back. Even though we said that, we still looked for people who came back and followed up and were persistent and bugged us um, because we, are, we were way more likely to hire someone who was like consistently showing us that this is what they wanted and this is, you know, okay, God see. Go get it. Um, then someone who was just turning in applications to all over the mall, you know. So take that analogy and put it into motion with your sponsorship journey findings. I'm going to tell you the story of how I got sponsored by One Up Nutrition, which I kind of covered in a couple videos um, like a long time ago. But um, so I was was not sponsored by a supplement company. I was waiting because I wanted to be with someone that I really loved their products. Obviously, I never. Whoops! Oh my God, Sadie! Stop ruining my video! Go. Okay, last one.
last time I threw the ball. <laughs> so um, I have been using One Up Nutrition products for like well over two years now and I honestly love them so much. And I know that they were a very hard company to get sponsored by because they had, um, all of their athletes were just very big fitness influencers and at the time, I was not a big fitness influencer yet. Um, sorry, sorry, give me the ball. I'm not gonna, oh. okay, last time I threw the ball. <laughs> I can't, I have to throw it, look at how excited she is. <laughs> okay, um, anyways. Um, so I sent them an, e them an email and I said exactly what I told you guys to say and I never heard back. I didn't hear, hear back and then about two months later I sent another one and I got an email back and it says, thank you for your emails, Katie. We, um, they didn't go unnoticed, but right now we're not looking for anybody, so sorry. Basically they told me no. But I did not let that stop me from pursuing them. I kept pursuing them, I kept asking, I kept checking up with them. I kept saying like, hey, I know that you said you weren't looking for spot for any athletes right now, but just wanted to let you know that I'm still really interested in working with you guys. Like, re relayed out all my bullet points. This is how much I've grown since I last talked to you. Um, please keep me in mind if you're looking for anybody. I'm gonna check back with in, it, back in with you again. You know, so I just kept being persistent. And then finally, um, I got, by the hand of God, <laughs> Heidi Summers put in a good word for me and then um, that got me an interview. And I got an interview with the with the um, CEO, one of the CEOs of the company, and it was a telephone call, and it went really, really well. And he was really excited to talk to me, and I was like, "Oh my God, I finally did it!" Like all this persisting paid off. Well, then I get another phone call, and he's like, "You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I talk with my partner, and it's just not a good time to bring you on right now. It just doesn't make sense for us business-wise, you know." So they turned me down again, and I was like, oh, dang it, you know? And then um, a couple months later, they just reached out to me, and they're like, hey, we've been doing th some thinking, and we've been following you, and, you know, I think it's, I, I'm sorry that I said no before, but I think we're going to bring you on now. And I was just like, praise the dear Lord, baby Jesus, thank you so much. So, you know, that just goes to show you, like, if you are persistent in what you want to go after, you will get it. So, um, that's just my little, hopefully that inspires you, little story. Um, and I am so grateful to be with One Up Nutrition. They are such a good company and they, they treat their athletes so well. And they have freaking amazing products that I love to death. So I highly recommend them if you guys are, um, looking for products, and yes, that was a shameless plug. But, here's my discount code. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, next to the story of how I got sponsored by Live Fit. Oh, okay, it's okay. Live Fit Apparel, right here. Nice, cute top. Um, so this was a totally different story. I got sponsored by Live Fit first, and um, I loved Live Fit. I was their OG, uh, I was their OG customer. I had all the very first items that they came out with back when Randall was screen printing stuff in his car. You know, like back when it very first started, I was their first like biggest fan. And I'm proud to say that. It was always a dream for me to work with him or to even just meet them. I saw them at an expo once, but I didn't even get to meet them. I was just like, oh my God, there's the lip fit over there. Like I love all of them, you know? Um, and. So I, I was prepping for my first show and I was wearing a Live Fit crop top and I posted a picture on Instagram. I am about to kill Sadie. Stop it, you're ruining my video. I posted a picture on Instagram wearing um, the crop top and I said, I tagged them in it. Um, and I remember asking Ryan, I was like, Ryan, should I tag them in this? He was like, yeah, why not, you know? So I did and then about three hours later, I, I was in the shower and Ryan was in my living room or something. And I got out of the shower and got dressed and then he was like, oh my God, Katie, Katie, look at your Instagram. Open your Instagram. He was like freaking out. I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? Okay, so I opened my Instagram and I was like, oh, Live Fit reposted my photo. Oh my God. And we just like screamed and ran around the house and we were so excited and happy. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my God, I have to do something. What do I do? <laughs> so I uh, messaged I messaged Randall and I was or I think I messaged the Live Fit page and I was like hey just want to say thank you so much for my shout out on your page I love you guys you know and I wasn't asking for a sponsorship I just told him like how much it really meant to me that they posted it and that I loved their clothes I was like practically live in your clothes um, you guys are an awesome company and thank you for putting out such a positive uplifting message for everybody in the industry 
And um, they were like, you're welcome, you look great, you know, keep doing what you're doing, and that was it. And I went through. I'm gonna kill my dogs right now. Okay, you guys, you guys gotta go outside. Go outside. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I went through my competition. Bye, Sequisha. Anyways, I went through my competition, I got first place at my show, and then little did I know, a message was waiting for me in my DMs from LiveFit saying like, hey, congrats on winning your show. We've been watching you and we'd love to invite you to the warehouse to meet the team. Super vague and I was like, oh, meet the team, what does that mean, you know? So I didn't get to go to the LiveFit warehouse for another three weeks after my show and that meant I was like, I have to look good. I can't just go off the, you know, off the charts and rebound like super hard. So I kept my leanness as much as possible, went to the warehouse, and sure enough, they were like, okay, let's take some photos, let's do a test photo shoot. So we did, I didn't even know that that was gonna happen, but we did a test photo shoot, it went really well, and then a week later, I was signed with LiveFit. So that is just a little background story on how I got sponsored by them. Again, the, like, I am so grateful. Thank you, universe, for giving me the two best sponsors on the planet. But I just wanna tell you guys that I was in your shoes once, and I wanna share with you how I got what I wanted because it is out there for you to get and it is all yours if you want it. You just have to take the right steps to getting it. So don't give up. Like, go after what you want and the companies that you really want to work for. Don't tell yourself that it's out of reach because that will just make it out of reach for you. It is in within reach. You have just as much time as everybody else does in the day. Like, you can do this and just put your mind to it and don't like, let that go. Okay, fourth point. Sorry that was a long story, but fourth point is Networking, networking is so important. Wow. Networking is so important for um, growing on social media and um, getting sponsors because the more people you know in the industry that you're trying to get a sponsor, and it doesn't even have to be fitness, um, the more likely you are to get noticed and meet people who would give you the sponsorship. And you know, the more people you know, the better. Just like with One Up, like, you know, like they were saying no to me until I had Heidi put my name in. So it was only because I knew Heidi that they were like, okay, maybe we should look into this girl a little bit more. So my point is, you don't have to know a big famous superstar to get favors pulled for you, um, but make friends with people in the industry that you wanna work in. You know, make friends with people who have already accomplished what you wanna accomplish. Surround yourself with people who are doing what you want to do and what your goals are. Like, surround yourself with people who are already doing that and more because that's just gonna inspire you and you're gonna become a network of, of individuals who are embedded in what you wanna do and there's no place for you to go except follow in their footsteps when you are totally surrounded by that. Um, okay, so networking and then number five, do things that will grow your social media because even if you know everybody in the industry and you have the most amazing body, it really comes down to um, how will you help them as a business? And for people, for companies who are, you know, sponsoring people, it's all about what is that person's influence and outreach. So doing things that will grow your social media is literally key for getting noticed and getting what you want. Keep in mind that the companies are a business and don't take it personally if they say no, just think, take, take a step back, be objective and say like, okay, this is a business. If I was that business, what would I want in an athlete? What would I want in someone that I sponsor? And um, do things with your social media that will grow into that, whether that's shout outs with other people who are um, you know, the same as you to grow your following, whether that's, um, I, I recommend doing shout outs, maybe in IG stories only, because if you do shout outs on your main page, it can be kind of annoying to your followers. Um, but maybe do a couple IG shout outs, do collaborations on YouTube, do collaborations and just go work out with someone. And you know, if you guys post a picture together working out, you know, that's 500 other followers or a thousand other followers that had never seen you before is now introduced to you. Be consistent with your posting. Um, you don't wanna be that person who only posts once a week because why are people gonna follow you if you only post once a week? So be consistent, post at least once a day at the same time every day, try to, I always try to post one in the morning and then you know space it out through the day. Don't post more than four times because Instagram 
this is a little um, PSA announcement, public service announcement. Instagram, um, if you post more than four times a day, will automatically limit the people who will see your posts after that because it thinks that you're spam. So maximum four posts a day. Hashtag your things, you know, tag people that you like are inspired by because people who look, like if you tag me in your photos, anybody who looks at my tagged photos will see your picture and that will be like introducing you, you know? So do things like that that will help you grow your social media. Those are my top five tips on how to get noticed by sponsors and how to get the sponsors that you really want. So if you like this video and if you think that this is helpful, please give it a big thumbs up because you guys don't know how much that helps me. Um, comment if you have anything you'd like to say or if you need any more help with this, with your endeavors on a sponsorship and please, please, please subscribe. You don't know how much that helps me and my goals and dreams and uh, I want to leave this video with the fact that there is room for everyone to grow. So if you found this video helpful and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want anybody to look at this video because I want to be the only successful one. That's not the way to look at it. There is there is multitude of success for everybody out there. Everyone can be successful. There is no limit and there is it's not going to run out. So in sharing your success with, with other people and in wanting other people to succeed, you are only helping your yourself grow. You know, you are you you get what you receive. If you put out positivity and um, you know, vibes for people to succeed, you're only gonna get vibes for you to succeed and you're only gonna succeed more in return. So that is that is what I wanna leave this video at with today. So um, I will stop talking and boring you guys and I will see you next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my channel at 5 p.m.